<laughs> just allow it to move, it's just energy, remember? Top of the head. Emotional Freedom Techniques, EFT. This is what you specialize in. What mm -hmm. is it? <laughs> it uh, goes back actually to ancient times. Instead of acupuncture, you know, where you use the needles and that, this is acupressure. It's using meridians in the body. So what the meridian points do when we're tapping on them, it brings that fight or flight instinct down. It starts reducing that cortisol, the adrenaline that's been pumped into the body. Mm -hmm. And then it starts to calm us. So then now we can think better, we can react better, we can um, get through whatever it is we, that we need to get through. So what the um, tapping does in emotional freedom techniques is uh, we get what's called the window of tolerance. So in your everyday life, for your mental health and well-being is, I can handle this much, right? And anything about that, I start to lose control, I get out of, um, I feel discomfort, I'm feeling anxious or angry or worried, whatever that is, and so then you know you're heading into places that you can't handle anymore. Mm -hmm. So with EFT, then we can start bringing you back down into where your window of tolerance is so that you can handle things again. Yeah, just burning in my stomach. Allow it to come. Just keep tapping. Just breathe. Just tap. 95% of us, of our actions, are run by our subconscious. 5% is in our conscious, right? So our thinking brain. And a lot of people um, actually disassociate, um, pretend we don't have emotions, all that kind of stuff. So it's subconscious programming that's already happened. And for most of us, that's a lot from zero to eight is most of what's our driver. I mean, there's other things along there that we learn along the way, but that becomes like, say, if, if somebody says that one moment that says you're not good enough and that's the moment you believe it, then from then on you go, you go about proving that. We're so good at living with our crap yes. that we don't know what it feels like to not live with it. And that's scary because we know that's the only way we know how to function. So when we want to um, be clear of it, which most of us want, that's where the fear kicks in. So then when you're doing a lot of your work and a lot of um, emotional freedom techniques and just becoming greater awareness of yourself, what happens is you'll, you'll grow, have a lot of growth, and then you hit the psychological reversal, which means that, ooh, we're really starting to change. That's uncomfortable. Let's just go back to where we were. So our, our bodies, our minds will try and get us back to the dis like where we were comfortable before. Even though it's not healthy for us, that's what it knows, right? So then we have to work through that. What else is there um, in that story that we're telling ourselves that's holding us back? So once you clear that, then you can become the new you that you want to be, free and clear of the stuff that's holding you back. Like, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, so then then you get to the new level and, and I mean it's a constant right you get comfortable and then you get uncomfortable and then you get comfortable So as you grow you want to keep going, but you know with this once you clear it. It's cleared How's the stomach? It's gone hmm. For now for now <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos and want to join us on our ride of our web series, Life of a Producer, then like and subscribe here. Right here. That's right. You got it. <laughs>